we've got a uh, last bit of news for this new segment. Megan Fox wants to join the MCU or the DC movie universe. Uh, yeah, well, where do I start? I well, <laughs> okay. So the thing is that what, okay. So I guess the thing with this is that she's now in the news a bit more because, and I don't want this to be like, that's why she's in the news, but yeah. mainly she's in, in the public conscious right now. It's because she's dating MGK, you know? So you got to strike by the iron's hot, you know, like yeah. if, that's if you're true. out there, you've got to you've got to promote yourself, and you've got if, to you know get it while you can because it only lasts five minutes. You know if I mean? your career, if your career is all based around the fact that you're a hot topic and then you're in the public eye and you're getting attention, then whenever you start to get a little bit of attention for whatever reason, you've got to use that to try and yeah. garner something to push your career. And that's no knock on her. That's a yeah. Career. I mean, you, you got to get it where you can. Like, you, yeah. everyone's got to hustle. You know, yeah, exactly. Do and that's their yeah. hustle. It's not it's fine. any worse than another person's hustle in a way. Yeah, exactly. Um. But yeah, I just don't know. Like, it's just a funny statement to be like, you know, I want to be in the Marvel universe or the DC universe. It's kind of like you you don't want to be in the Marvel universe because you think the Marvel universe is terrific. Well, maybe you do, but if you're saying the yeah. Marvel universe or the DC universe, it comes across in a way that it's like I just want to be in something that's big. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, right? and she said, I don't know what I was, actual uh, statements. What was the actual statement? Well, she said that she grew up a massive fan of comics. Well, she and could. Yeah, I mean, like, we that. don't know. Yeah. And so that's why she wants to be in these films already. But like, where was this push before? You know, Marvel hasn't. Well, she, she's actually been out of the spotlight years. for a little bit, you know. Yeah. She hasn't, she hasn't been in, she hasn't done too much. No. She, she had like a family and then she was married and she went, she got divorced. And then like, you know, so she's had a lot in a private, in a private life mm-hmm. going on. Um, she has been in like you know she's no stranger to a big budget film. She was in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movies. Transformers. Um, she was in Transformers, uh, the first two anyway. Mm. Um, so she's no stranger to that. I mean, her she, I think she was also part of the um. I don't oh, I don't want to speak out of turn, but she was also like upset during the whole Me Too thing with the way she was treated on Transformers, and right. that's why she wasn't in Transformers three. I, I'm, I'm I like, maybe there was something else as well, but I know that was like a, that was definitely like a factor. Like she thought she was like being um, like used sexually in, in those movies. Like, yeah. And, and which, to an extent, I, she, she totally is like, she's definitely like the, I like the, like, yeah, there's definitely things she does in the movie where you're just like, that doesn't look like too good now. Like normal. Do you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't look like to, yeah. the way she can talk to her body. It's like, that doesn't look how you would actually yeah. do something like that. And it's it like when you go back and watch here. when you go back and watch those films from that era, like there are some scenes and things where you go, oh, it's a little uncomfortable. You know, I can't believe yeah. that that wasn't called out back then. Mm. But now with the rise of everything and people all taking a stand against that, you do go back and watch yeah. films and go, that's not right. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, I mean, and like- that's, that's a fair point from her to talk about those transform movies and just using yeah. women as a, as a sexual, like uh, this, this goes off topic a little bit, but I was watching 500 days of summer the other night mm. and Great movie. you know how in the beginning they're like listing um, Zoe Deschanel's like characteristics. characteristics. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it says like yeah. um, body height and body weight average. Yeah. And so I searched it up and to be five foot eight and like, 54 kilos is not that's very far from average <laughs> okay yeah i mean like <laughs> quite skinny and so it's funny because it's like back then you look at women and and they were definitely held to a much higher standard than they should have ever been and men have ever been in the movie industry yeah exactly um, so yeah, yeah I, I understand that point from her but she's actually no stranger to like a really good performance like there was this movie she was in called jennifer's body i don't know if you've ever seen that but it's just it it, it didn't really um wasn't really like it was i guess it was kind of big when it came out it's more of a cult film it's gotten a lot like more it's like more yeah it's bigger as it as time's gone on and she plays this like demon thing adam brody's in it um <laughs> from the oh so he's in it and um she it's like a it's like a high school movie with amanda seyfried and she um becomes like a demon and stuff. And like, she's got a battle for like Amanda Seyfried's boyfriend. And it's like a high school thing. It's actually, it's actually a pretty good movie. And she's, I think she's really, really good. At it. Yeah. She plays like, she plays that like kind of like that, like this like charming kind of sexually charged character, it's kind of something out of like that movie species. I don't know if you've ever seen it. It's like no. it's an old horror movie, 
but like kind of some, something like that, but with like this kind of like, I don't know, this like devilish charm and she's really, really good at that. So maybe if she did something like that in the MCU, that would be cool because yeah. they don't really have I mean, anything like that. But that's then again, the like, you know, that's kind of going that's in that the thing, like medium. With her, I find she's not just there because of her looks, you know, like she isn't yeah. that one trick pony in that way. She can act. She's not a bad actor yeah. by any means. Yeah. And so I do think if she truly is a fan of, of comic book films and there's a spot for her, as a character, it'd be cool to see her play a character not based off looks in that sense. And to play yeah. like what you were saying there, I think maybe she would add something to the MCU and it'd be cool to see her career take another spark again. And, yeah. you know, like you, you see it with, um, uh, oh, how, how do I feel? Margot Robbie, right? Yeah. Is like she at first was getting cast because of her looks, whereas now she's well, able to take role. Well, that's debatable. But. No, no, no. She's a great actress. That's what I'm yeah. saying. And she's all, but like she was sexualized in that way in a lot of her films. Yeah. And so yes, yeah. it's true. And so, yeah, I guess. Now, I mean, Wolf of Wall Street those roles, that's kind of the job, but like, yeah. yeah. But like now she's getting the roles of it's not nothing to do with looks. She's not sexualized in that sense. What people do with the films outside of the story itself is another thing on social media. But within those roles, mm. to be able to get roles where it's not, overly sexualized and i think there would be a good spot for her uh, but you know that's also not such a bad thing that. too that's i mean like we can go on about like how, oh you don't want to be sexualized but you know some people like some women that's that's like what you want to do you want to own your sexuality in the film you know what i mean like and you want to be like you know i'm i'm out there like that's fine like and that's totally fine like there's nothing wrong with that like that's either way you want to do like it's fine like go you don't want to do it you do want to do it that's your yeah. life like you yeah. might tell you what to do yeah. So, but, but yeah, it would be interesting to see what kind of character she'll play if she was to be in the DC franchises or the MC one. Do you reckon, um, MCU? What do you reckon she would? What character or like what franchise do you reckon she would suit? I reckon mm. she would suit Blade. This yeah. new the new movie with Mahershala Ali that they're trying That's to make. True. I reckon I could yeah, see I her in that. Way. Yeah, I reckon I could see her in that because she's kind of already played something similar to that in Jennifer's Body. So it's yeah. not. So we know that she can kind of do kind of dark devilish kind of stuff um i could see her in guardians yes i reckon i could see her as like a love interest for like um rocket like another like yeah. fairy thing i was thinking yeah. about that like maybe she just did like a voice thing i reckon that would be sick that would be cool that would be yeah, really I really definitely cool see her in guardians of galaxy yeah i reckon guardians of galaxy yeah. would be perfect for her yeah for sure yeah definitely it's that where, time yeah, to- that's yeah. where she should go like that's <laughs> like, that's a kind of franchise yeah yeah um, she would play perfectly with like Chris Pratt as well, like exactly, yeah, yeah, like it's, it's a bound yeah, up another, and, yeah, um, yeah, love interest for for Rocket, I reckon for sure. Mm. That's like that's definitely what I would do. Yeah, absolutely, and like a villain maybe, like yeah, yeah, I was yeah. thinking that too. Yeah, 